Okay, so in this question, we're looking at the SEC Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths uh, Paper 2, Question 7, and it's 2016. So, a glass roof lantern in the shape of a pyramid has rectangular base CDEF. So, CDEF is horizontal on the ground, and its apex is at B, as shown. So, a pyramid with the point being at B. The vertical height of the pyramid is AB, vertical height, with a nice little right angle down here, where A is the point of intersection of the diagonals of the base as shown in the diagram. CD is 2.5 meters, CD is 2.5 meters, and CF is 3 meters. Show that AC, so that's the distance from here to here, AC is 1.95 meters. If we were to go and find um, C, E, and look at this triangle, we'd know that this is 3 meters and 2.5 meters. Okay. If we were to go and find C, E, so C, E, D, knowing this is a right angle, you could use Pythagoras to go and find that. So, um, what is it, C, E, squared is equal to 2.5 squared plus 3 squared and then take the square root of that so ce is equal to the square root of 2.5 squared plus 3 squared ce is equal to 3.905 we know that ac is going to be half of ce half of ce is equal to AC and AC ends up being 1.95 meters long okay so nice little Pythagoras question to get us started with then it says the angle of elevation of B from C is 50 degrees so the angle BCA is 50 degrees we know this length and we now know this angle here show that AB is 2.3 meters, so that's this here. So we actually have a right angle triangle as well. I know it doesn't look like a right angle triangle, but if we were to draw it out, and go CAB, the angle BCA is 50 degrees, degrees we know this length here is 1.95 right angle triangle and we want to find this length here as it's a right angle triangle the only rules that we can actually use is if we look at our log tables sorry the other way if we use our log tables right angle triangles the only rules that we can use is Sokotoa down here or Pythagoras if it's a non-right angle triangle, these are the only rules I can use. But it's a right angle triangle, so the only rules I can use are down here. And this is page 16 of your log tables. Page 16. So what do I know? Well, if I'm referring to this as the angle, this is the opposite. I want to find the opposite, and I know the adjacent. What links the opposite and the adjacent would be tan. So I'm going tan 50 is equal to opposite over adjacent but the adjacent is 1.95. Get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by 1.95. Important to have the 1.95 out the front of the tan. Do not have it following, as you will make a mistake when then putting it into your calculator. And this length, AB, ends up being 2.32 meters, but to uh, one decimal place, that's 2.3 meters to one decimal place. Find BC correct to the nearest meter. Okay, well, what's BC? BC is this length here. So we can use the same triangle. i actually bring this down. Use the same triangle. I now know what BA was. It was 2.3 meters. It's a right angle triangle. What are the only rules I can use for a right angle triangle? Sakatoa or Pythagoras. I know two lengths. So I can use Pythagoras, and I'm looking for the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. That's bc 
squared is equal to 1.95 squared plus 2.3 squared. No need to put that into the calculator yet because I can just square root the whole thing and put it all into the calculator together. BC ends up being three meters to the nearest meter. Let's put that into the calculator. Okay, next question then. Find BCD, the angle BCD. So let's go back at our diagram and go, where is BCD? B, C, D. So I know this length here. I now actually know this length BC. I just found it. It was three meters. And curiously enough, this is also three meters. Okay. B, C, D looks like this. B, C, D, this is 3, 3, and I think it was 2.5. If I'm calling this angle C, so I've called it point C, I'm calling this angle C, what kind of triangle is it? It's a non-right angle triangle, so I'm not allowed to use any of these rules. The only rules I'm allowed to use are these rules up here. Do I care about the area? Does the question mention the area at all? No, so we're not using that. This sign rule, when do you use the sign rule? The way I describe using the sign rule, or how to know to use the sign rule is, do you know a pair? Do you know an angle and its opposite side? Well, I don't know that angle and its opposite side. Do you know an angle and its opposite side here? No. Do you know an angle and its opposite side here? No. So we physically couldn't even use the sign rule if we wanted to. So we use the cost rule which is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Now, importantly, the side a is opposite the angle a. So I want to find the angle c here. So the side that must be opposite it is 3. So I'm writing this as 3 squared is equal to cos c the opposite and the opposite. Now I need to fill in this interim bit here. It doesn't matter what order I put it in, whether I go three squared or 2.5 squared. So I go three squared plus 2.5 squared minus two by three by 2.5. Now it's manipulation. Three squared minus three squared minus 2.5 squared is equal to minus two by three by 2.5 cos C. Do not add 2 by 3 by 2.5 to both sides. Make sure you leave this here. Because how are they connected? They're connected by a multiplication. So how do we disconnect them? We disconnect them via division. So we're dividing cos C. A lot of people now at this point would type that all into their calculator. Okay, You'd get cos C is equal to 5 over 12. If you put that into your calculator, then, a, then C is equal to cos inverse 5 over 12. C is equal to 65 degrees. And make sure we answer the question B, C, D is equal to 65 degrees. Next question is to find the area of glass required to construct the, the pyramid. Find the area of glass required to glaze all four triangular sides of the pyramid. So are all four triangles the same? Are all four triangles the same? The answer is no. The front and the back are the same, but they're not the same as the right or the left. So we have to consider the area on the left and double it, and the area on the right and double it. Now, what's the area of a triangle formula? So we're going to our log tables again. We're looking at area. So make sure you write down what formula you're using. Make sure you write down what formula you're using. We're using half 
AB sine C. And that is the half the product of two sides by the sine of the angle between them. So let's consider the triangle that we were just using there. The one that's BCD. It's going to be a half two sides by the sine of the angle between them. Well, what is the angle between them? This angle here is the only one we know is 65 degrees, so we must use the, the two sides either side of it. So we must use three and I must use 2.5. So it's 65 degrees, three and 2.5. This is the front. What about the left hand side? A, B, sine, C. Now, you might be afraid that you have to repeat the whole process of the previous question again. But let's go back and inspect that left-hand triangle. So, let's inspect this left-hand triangle. How long is B, C? We know it's 3. How long is B, F? Well, it's the same length as BC, so this must be 3 as well. And how long is the base? It's also 3. So all sides are 3, which means all angles are, it means it's an equilateral triangle. Well, what about an equilateral triangle? All sides are equal. So we know the angle here is 60 degrees, the angle here is 60 degrees, and the angle down here is 60 degrees. So we can put in 3 times 3 sine 60, and that's the left. Multiply them out and double it. So it's 2 times a half times 2.5 times 3, 65, plus 2 times a half. Now why am I multiplying both of them by 2? is because they each have two triangles that fit those dimensions. We're adding them because we want to find the surface area. And that equals 14.59 meters squared to the nearest meter, that's 15 meters squared, to the nearest meter squared. The last question then. Another roof lantern in the shape of a pyramid has a square base, CDEF. The vertical height of AB is 3 meters. So we know this is 3 meters, where A is the point of intersection of the diagonals of the base. The angle of elevation of B to C from C is 60 degrees. Find the length of the side of the square base of the lantern. Give your answer in the form of square root a meters. Okay, so what's it asking us to find? Find the length of the side of the square. We're asked to find this length here. So let's give it a variable. Let's call it x. I don't know what it is. We do know that this length is also going to be x. Don't know what it is. Is there anything we can find? Generally in these questions, if you can find something, it's probably going to help you. So looking at this triangle, C, B, A, 3, 60 degrees. It's a right angle triangle. The only things we can use are Sakatoa and Pythagoras. Can we use Pythagoras? No. So the only thing we can use is Sakatoa. If we found this length down here, it could become very useful. So this is the adjacent and that's the opposite. So if I use tan and say tan 60 is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, uh, let's call it y, so y, and go y tan 60 is equal to 3, and y is equal to 3 divided by tan 60. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. What do we get? Y is equal to root 3. Let's go back and look at our diagram. I know this length is now root 3. What about this blue length? That would also be 
root 3. If you do this large right angle triangle, I know it's a square here, I know it's a right angle there. So, I have a right angle triangle. I don't know this length, it's x. Don't know this length, it's x. But I know this length is root 3 plus root 3, which is 2 root 3. And I actually can use Pythagoras' theorem here because there's only one variable. The variable in question is x. Where all I'm trying to do is find x squared. 2, 2 by 2 is 4, root 3 by root 3 is 3, so this is 12 is equal to 2x squared. x squared is equal to 6. x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 6, but the distance, so x is equal to just the positive square root of 6. So positive square root, 6 meters long. And just double check, can that be, a, do they want it as a decimal or not? No, nope, they want it in the square root of a single digit where a is an element of n, a, 6 is an element of n, and that's the question done. You do not need to write this as x is equal to 2 root 3 meters, which is weird because we normally would, but the question does state to leave it in the square root of a form. Really, that's nasty to try and catch you out there at the end, to be honest. Looking at the marks for the question then, 10 marks for the first question, you're just using Pythagoras there. 10 marks for essentially a junior cert question, you should be very, very happy. Another 10 marks for Sokotoa, or some people call it silly old Harry, but yeah, perfect, easy, very generous. Another Pythagoras question, 10 marks, super nice. 10 marks for the cosine rule. Look, if you're given 10 marks for the previous questions, you probably should be given 15 marks here, but realistically, 10 marks for using the cosine rule is very, very nice. Again, 10 marks for the area of a triangle using it twice. And the last question, obviously caught people out because it's only getting five marks. That's a really, really nice question. You should be very happy if anything like that ever came up on your leaving cert. Very attainable, 55 marks. Hopefully you found the video helpful.